Hi, welcome to the doctor's kitchen. Today we're going to be doing almond milk curried fish. It sounds complicated, but it's a very simple dish. Tons of flavour, tons of ingredients with known health benefits and lots of clinical studies behind the efficacy. Grab the ingredients and let's get cooking. So the first thing you're going to do is get your almond milk Hot. Use about 300 ml of a good quality unsweetened almond milk. Because I've got an electric hob and it's quite hard to uh, change the temperature, I'm going to warm up the almond milk on one hob and then transfer it to another hob to keep simmering. Whilst that's uh, getting warm, we want to get on with our paste. In this paste, we're going to have garlic, turmeric, ginger, lemongrass. There is a lot of interest in the medical literature about these particular ingredients turmeric for bowel cancer, lemongrass for its antioxidant effect, garlic for its antibacterial and antiviral effect. Eat them because they taste awesome and this particular paste is going to be great with the fish and the rest of the vegetables that we're going to prepare with it. So the long way of making this paste is with uh, a pestle and mortar and then bashing all these ingredients together. It does take around 10 to 15 minutes to make and it does make a bit of a mess. So if you're short on time, you can either use a food processor or quite simply, you use a spoonful of a paste. There are lots of different pastes you can use, red Penang curry paste, green Thai curry paste. Just look at the back of them and just make sure they've got cumin, ginger, garlic, a lot of them do, just not with the oil, salt and sugar. You don't need those ingredients. We're just gonna peel a thumb-sized bit of ginger, so just chop that off. Ginger is known to be anti-inflammatory, it's got tons of health benefits. These skins are great for tea and stuff like that, so I'd keep those in the fridge. Shallots, they'll give a lovely sweet flavour to the curry. These may also contain compounds that regulate blood sugar, but like I always say, just eat it because it tastes fantastic. Lemongrass, I'm just going to take a bit of the stalk off, and that will go into the paste. I've got some Mondo garlic here, which is great to peel, they're really big cloves, so you don't need to use that many. And turmeric, and just scrub, and just cut the gnarly bits off the end. And that will go straight into the paste as well. Pop your ingredients inside and then give it a good bash. It's great to bash away at this at the end of the day. <laughs> so at this point I'll just add some chilli and that will pretty much be the paste done. This is the point where we add the paste. The yellow colour is going to completely infuse the salmon milk. Today I'm using ling fish. It's very similar to cod, you can cook it in the same way. If you can't get hold of this, use cod, use haddock, any white flaky fish will do for this dish. You can add a kaffir lime leaf as well, just for an extra zesty kick. So that's only gonna take about 15 to 20 minutes to cook. Just keep an eye on it, just make sure it's not boiling over. And you'll be able to tell when it's done, where you can just put a knife in it, it just breaks away nicely. Rice noodles, I feel, goes really well with this dish. It's gonna soak up all those lovely curry flavors. In a bowl, hot water, cover it with a plate, eight minutes to one side, and then it'll be ready to drain and serve. So, first things first, carrot and cucumber. cucumber. <laughs> Straight into the bowl, strips of carrot and strips of cucumber. Tons of vitamins like vitamin C, vitamin A. Cabbage and pak choy. These are cruciferous vegetables. They are rich in phytochemicals. Phytochemicals are like a broad spectrum term for lots of chemicals that we find in plants. And these are the focus of some incredibly exciting research in the field of cancer and cancer prevention. But eat it because it's going to taste great in this dish. Don't worry too much about the raw vegetables. They're going to slightly cook in the almond milk when we pour the fish over. But if you prefer your vegetables a bit more cooked, then just take them and then put them into the almond milk curry during the last five minutes of cooking. That way it will take up even more of the flavour as well. At this point you can add your rice noodles, just decorate it around it. And the fish is nearly going to be ready. Just whilst we're waiting for the fish, I'm just going to quickly, roughly chop some coriander here. So that's all ready. I cannot wait to get into this curry. It's been about 15 or so minutes. The fish is slightly breaking away when I put a fork in it, so I know that it's, it's ready. First, I'm just going to scoop out some of that lovely curry milk and then pour it just all over the vegetables. And I'm just going to lay this fish on top, like that. Ooh, stay together. We're just going to garnish it slightly with a bit of coriander on the outside. 
And just to add to that almond flavour, I'm just going to put some almond flakes on the outside as well. And that is it. This is my almond milk curried fish. It is jam full of ingredients with potential health benefits. The turmeric, the red cabbage, the pak choy. I know that the fish is going to be delicate because we poached it. When you've got a cold, great load of antivirals and antibacterials in this. I really hope you like watching the video and subscribe to the channel. Happy spinning, clapping, laughing, dancing in the blackness of magic.